thanks very much for joining us. This is a very interesting time for Massachusetts cities and towns as they deal with high inflation along with persistent issues surrounding health care and pension costs, among others. Let's get some insight into how some of this, at least, is affecting one local city as we welcome Taunton Mayor Shauna O'Connell. She's a Republican and former state rep, now in her second term as mayor of the Silver City. Mayor, welcome. Good to have you here. Welcome. So great to be here, John. Now, uh, the Silver City, does that immediately brand me as an outsider? Does anyone in Taunton ever refer to it as the Silver City? We do, and we're very proud of being okay. the Silver City okay. and also the Christmas City for our spectacular Christmas displays on our t historic Taunton Green at Christmas time. That is good trivia. I'm going to stump my friends with that at, at my next barbecue. Thank you. Well, thanks very much for being here. Listen, just a few weeks ago, Taunton voters approved a debt exclusion to pay for a new public safety complex. I know that was a big project of yours. Um, how big an issue is crime in Taunton, and what's the main source of, of concern? Well, you know, we have an outstanding police force, and they have been working in a, a temporary facility that used to be a grocery store uh, for 20 years. Before that, they were working in another temporary facility for 20 years. So for decades, there has been the promise of a new public safety facility. They've really outgrown where they are. It just does, it's not functional for the work that they do. Mm -hmm. And our, our police state, our fire station, excuse me, that where also relocating is uh, 156 years old so it's just been long overdue project that has been tried um, many times over many decades and just has not been able to get done and we were really thrilled that the voters approved the project is crime top of mind locally you know it, it we always want our community to be safe, right? Yeah. Safe communities are thriving communities. So it wasn't an issue of we're worried about crime, but we want to make sure that our men and women in uniform, both police right. and fire, can do the best job that they uh, can, deliver the highest level of services in a way that's safe to our public and that's safe to them because some of the conditions that they work in right now are just not safe for them either. Now, only 7% of the eligible voters turned out to vote f uh, on the debt exclusion. Uh, how big a problem is civic apathy in Taunton? You know, despite our out outreach efforts, um, the, the turnout was a little bit low, and it does tend to be in these type of um, special election yeah. questions. Uh, we did a lot of outreach. We did multiple community forums. Uh, we did mailers. We did phone calls. We did emails, town hall. So we really made a so, lot of effort. So that means everyone's happy with the status quo, no need to show up and vote, right? You know, I, I think it shows that, you know, people who really were opposed uh, would come out to vote, and a lot of people said, yeah, you know what, I, I, it's okay with me, and yeah. uh, I think it's going to pass. So, and, it, and it did pass by almost 66% of the vote. Now, in November, uh, you're up for re-election, no opponent yet, good for you. Uh, the voters will decide whether or not to approve big changes in the city charter, right? That's correct. Including uh, term limits. Right now, you have term 12-year consecutive uh, term limit for mayor, but uh, under this charter change, all elected officials at the various boards would be subjected to that. Uh, you you support that, right? Why? I do. I do support term limits. I think, uh, you know, the people really support term limits, and it's really about what the people want and what's most important to them. And, you know, it, it, it allows for that change in um, government because it can be very, very difficult for new people to run for office, especially city council, and allowing, you know, this some some turnover but having some consistency for a period of time I think is good for city government I got a break but do you think they should have term limits on Beacon Hill your old I stomping do, grounds I do and I had been an advocate for that as well I think yeah. I, th I don't think people were meant to be in the same position in government especially the legislature for 20 30 or more years yeah. it'll be a cold day in July when they actually <laughs> approve that right I think so yeah all right 